When I was a kid, we used to always argue about how long I was allowed to watch TV. I used to be able to sit in front of that thing for hours. Now you couldn't get wild horses to drag me in front of one. I can count myself lucky the damn thing didn't completely frazzle my brain. I'll just borrow it. Alright then, I need the compass. I'll have to sacrifice the telescope. insulation and pull it back carefully. And now, I have a real nice piece of copper wire. Here are all the things for the direction finder. Very good. I'll build it up right away. But, first the theory. You take the receiver down to the coast, somewhere near the hotel. You turn on the radio, I'll set everything up and don't fiddle with it. Then you turn the antenna slowly and listen for where the Morse code signal is the loudest. Look at the compass and write down the bearings and degrees where the antenna is pointing. Good. I'll do the same here with my receiver. Then we'll plot the bearings on this here map. Transmitter's located where the lines cross, understand? Yes, sir. Good. Now let me get on with it. So, let's see. Got it. Back to the junk shop. And? Do you have a bearing? Yes, sir. Bearing at 73 degrees. Very good. My bearing is 90 degrees. Go on. Plot the bearings. Let's see. Your shop is here, and you had a bearing of 90 degrees. I was roughly here. This damn... Of course! What is it? A boat! <sighs> Boris has got a boat. That's why no one here knows him, and why the police didn't find him. The lines cross a few hundred yards from the coast, about two miles to the east. Good work. Now you need a boat. One of those lobster fishermen owes me a favor. You can use his. Uh, and what should I do with it? Sail out there, of course. And serve myself up for a fight with Reginald Boris on his ship? Didn't you hear the message? He plans on coming back into town again tonight, looking for you. That's what he said? Huh. I must have missed that. Well, go on, then. You don't get many opportunities to be a hero. I trust the police least of all. I'd rather get hold of the evidence of Angelina's innocence myself. And this time, 
it'll all be watertight. flip-up seat with a lock on it. I need to get the lock open first. The lock doesn't seem particularly strong, but it's still a problem. Nah, I'm not gonna get any further without the key. A frame sheet of handmade paper. You can hardly read the writing and there's some kind of wildly painted lines over it. The road to El Dorado is written at the bottom. Isn't that in South America? The pictures of a big sailboat on a stormy sea. Maritime romanticism. There are hinges on one side of the frame. A safe. Hopefully it contains a few answers. They're photos of me. They're all from yesterday, M me walking around town. This is me leaving the store, and here I am going to the hotel, and here, here I am with Angelina in the diner. Huh, that picture's been taken through the window. That Reginald fella must have been creeping about the whole time. Huh, I'll take them, even though they'll probably be of no use. Cardboard folder. It looks really new. There's an A on the front. Huh. At the front of the fold, there's a small piece of transparent foil with lines on it. Strange. I'll take it with me. What else have we got here? Photos of Angelina. Some of them are clearly quite old. She can't be more than 13 or 14 years old in this one. Here she is as a kid. Huh. A note. New York. Boston. Perhaps... Perhaps that's her route? Yes. This proves that Boris has been following her for a while. I'll take the folder. Let's see. Wow. This is a cool model. Huh. What have we here? A file titled Willow Creek. I don't believe it. Why the hell does Reginald Boris have pictures on his computer of a place where my mother regularly receives money? Something very strange is going on here. Hmm. Here's a wind rose that you can turn. I guess the idea is the same as with Fuller's safe. But unfortunately, I don't have a stethoscope with me to listen to the mechanism. Hmm. Nothing. The cupboard looks like it's made of burl wood. But it can only be... All right, a few maritime maps, tools, screws, and measuring instrument, and... Ah, a key. Aha. Uh -huh. That must be the ship's power generator. I guess the batteries are normally charged using a cable at the harbor. The generator's probably just meant for emergencies. It might fit. Let's see.
The foil fits perfectly. It shows a route around the southern tip of Africa. The route is southwest, south, southeast, east, northeast, and northwest. combination. Huh. A ring with an eye-catching symbol on it. Looks a bit Celtic. A tree or something. It's not gonna help me, though. A floppy disk. Labeled with Biddeford and today's date. That looks more like a clue. I should have a look at what's on it straight away. If the disk doesn't contain any critical information, then I have to keep searching. Either way, I should get a move on. I don't know how long Boris is gonna stay on land. Damn, what's wrong now? The battery's dead, and there's no electricity on the boat. All right, let's see if I can do something about that. completely dry. I need to pour in some gas. Life jackets, a lifesaver, a few ropes, a buoy, and a gas can. Just what I need. Let's try. Very good. But also quite loud. Hopefully no one can hear the noise on land. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything on this disc that shed some light on what's going on. This is Michael's medical records. What the? This is what that means. Second and third degree burns on the hands, arms, legs, fractured back, partial surface. Due to a bad fall. This entry is from 1973. Right after the car crash. After an alleged car crash. This wretched forest with my mother's medical records. standing in the shadows. It's Mr. Baiba. He must have found out about the blackmail and then lost it. And there's Angelina. She 
is going into the store. Oh, this is the proof. Fuller was already dead when Angelina arrived at the store. But Boris saw that Baiba had murdered Fuller, and he must have called Angelina and then the police afterwards. Why did he get her arrested? Was she in the way? In a search for... Mother? Ha! Good evening, Mr. Michaels. You! Stay away from me! That's very difficult on such a small boat. What did you say? What do you want from me? It's all very complicated, believe me. But we'll have enough time to clear it up. We're both going on a little trip. I don't think so. Ah! Damn it! Called from the hospital. You should get over there straight away. My mom. Mr. Michaels, it's, um, the doctor would like to speak to you. Has something happened? Just go through, please. Where's my mom? Your mom is... Your mom's heart failed this morning. What? No, 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 that's impossible. I really am very sorry. Mom! <gasps> Hello. This is Rebecca Michaels. Unfortunately, I'm not at home at the moment. Leave me a message, and I'll get back to you. Darren? Darren, are you there? He's here, Darren. Reginald Boris is here. I've... I went to Willow Creek. I couldn't resist. Please forgive me. I found out a few things about this place. 
It seems there's something like a conspiracy here, and I think Reginald Boris is part of it. I saw him today, and now... No! No! Go! Ah! Darren! Help me! Hello? Hello? Angelina! <laughs>